Hello, I'm Christian Anderson, and I will be presenting Chapter 4 of Excel, Part 2. First off, we're going to go ahead and change a couple of values just to see if our whole calculator is working. And after everything is squared away, we'll go ahead and change the, uh, the width of our columns. And we're just going to go ahead and type in the title for our next feature. And it's the amortization schedule. We're going to go ahead and apply the format from Loan Payment Calculator to that. Now we're entering the column titles, year, beginning, balance, and so forth. And there you can see them all there. We're going to go ahead and type in year one, type in year two. We're going to bring that all the way down to, to uh, column 20, row 20, excuse me. And that'll bring our whole list down to 18. And we're going to go ahead and enter equals C6 in that column there. And we're going to go ahead and add this formula here. Well, it's quite, taking quite the time. And we made a bollock there. I fixed it though. I'm going to go ahead and enter this next formula. It's a lot shorter than the previous. And then yet another formula for our interest paid. And to take up this time, I'm going to say something along the lines of bingle, bungle, dingle, dangle, libbity doo, libbity da, libby tappy too ta. And we're still not done yet. Okay, there we go. Uh, and. Oh, yes. Now we need to change a little bit of stuff just to fix it. All right. There we go. Now we're going to apply. Well, we're going to go ahead and drag this down to apply all the formats to this. In cell 4, which, not, which isn't there, there we go. In cell 4, eight, page 4, it's going to equal that. It's going to go ahead and drag it down there. And there we have all of our values in the list. Should be a zero there, just to make sure. And then we're going to go ahead and add our subtotal there. And press our auto sum button to go ahead and add those values. We're going to add our down payment. And then add our little formula there. And then we're going to have our total cost. And that will be the combination of them both. And then we're going to go ahead and format all the cells and change it so Currency. I'm not going to have the dollar signs though. And then we're going to format the whole entire thing. And add a border to it.
and we're going to add some color to it, add a little glare. And we we add the we use the border button to add the little lines there. And then we're gonna test out our whole entire calculator again with the pontoon boat. And you can see how all the values change as we enter the different information. going to go ahead and change the rest of the values and change this back to home to bring our calculator back to where we had it previously. can see that we have it all changed back to what we had with our home. Now we're going to format those cells. And we're going to protect them. Change the protection settings at least. Go to the review tab, protect the sheet, make sure those two cell those two boxes are selected. We're going to go and to the Excel options, go to the proofing, sorry, the formulas, and make sure all those boxes are checked. And we're done. This has been Excel Chapter 4, and uh, thank you for joining us.